Do you know the common mistakes new preppers make? In our journey to self-reliance, it's all too easy to stumble into pitfalls that can set us back. From overlooking basic needs to inadequate research, these errors can be costly, both in time and resources. But fret not, comprehending these mistakes is the first step towards building a more effective and sustainable survival plan. So buckle up as we're about to delve into the heart of the matter. Stay tuned as we uncover the costly mistakes preppers make when starting out. First off, many new preppers overlook basic needs. It's easy to get dazzled by all the high-tech survival gear out there, but remember the most important survival tools are often the simplest. Water, food, and shelter. These are the bedrock of any survival plan, the essentials that keep you alive in any crisis. Think about it. Even the most advanced survival gadget won't do you any good if you're dehydrated, starving, or exposed to the elements. So, when starting your prepping journey, don't let the glitz and glamour of tech distract you from the basics. Prioritize securing a reliable source of clean water, a substantial stockpile of non-perishable food, and a sturdy shelter to protect you from harsh conditions. Building a solid foundation of essential supplies will ensure that no matter what happens, you have the basics covered. Remember, high-tech gear won't save you if you don't have water to drink, food to eat, or a shelter to protect you. Secondly, jumping into purchases without thorough research is a trap many fall into. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of starting your prepping journey, but it's crucial to remember that not all gear is created equal. Some items may look impressive but offer little practical value while others may be overpriced for what they provide. Think of it this way. Every piece of equipment you add to your stockpile should have a clear purpose and value. This is where research comes into play. Dive deep into product reviews, seek advice from seasoned preppers, and take the time to evaluate each item's usefulness, durability, and cost. Remember, the most expensive gear isn't always the best. Sometimes, a simple, cost-effective solution can be just as effective, if not more so. And always keep in mind that in the world of prepping, knowledge is just as vital as the gear itself. Don't let impatience lead to wasted investments. Do your homework. Third, ignoring budget constraints can lead to financial trouble. Now this is a common pitfall that many new preppers fall into. The excitement of starting out and the desire to stockpile as quickly as possible often leads to excessive spending. This is especially true when it comes to non-essential items that, while nice to have, may not be immediately necessary or even useful in a survival situation. Instead, it's important to budget properly. This means creating a realistic budget that balances your immediate needs with your long-term goals. Start by prioritizing essential items like food, water, and shelter. These are the building blocks of any survival plan and should be your first investments. Next, consider your long-term goals. What kind of emergencies are you preparing for? What gear and supplies will you need to address these scenarios? By planning ahead and budgeting for these items, you can avoid unnecessary spending and ensure that every dollar you spend is truly adding value to your survival plan. Remember, a good prepper is a smart spender. Fourth, preparing only for one type of emergency is a common pitfall. You see, emergencies are like snowflakes. No two are exactly alike. From natural disasters to economic collapse, the nature of crises is unpredictable and their impacts can vary greatly. That's why developing a versatile prepping plan is so crucial. If you're only preparing for a hurricane, what happens when there's a power outage or a financial downturn? Your preparations could leave you caught off guard. Instead, consider a variety of scenarios and the unique challenges they present. Think about the supplies, skills, and strategies you would need to navigate each one. By doing so, you're not just preparing for one event, you're equipping yourself to handle a myriad of potential crises. This kind of broad-spectrum readiness is the cornerstone of effective prepping. Remember, the key is not to predict the future, but to be ready for whatever it may bring. Plan for the unexpected because emergencies rarely occur as we imagine. Fifth, don't overlook the importance of skills training. It's easy to get caught up in the latest gear and gadgets, but remember survival isn't about having the best equipment. It's about knowing how to use what you have effectively and being adaptable. A common misstep is relying solely on your stockpile without honing the necessary survival skills. Sure, a state-of-the-art water purifier is great, but what if it breaks or gets lost? Knowing how to purify water using basic methods can be a lifesaver. The same goes for skills like first aid, fire making, and navigation. These are the skills that could mean the difference between life and death in a survival situation. And remember, 
These skills aren't something you can master overnight. They require time, practice, and patience. So, make it a point to invest in your skills training as much as you invest in your gear. Gear can fail, but skills last a lifetime. Sixth, poor storage practices can lead to spoilage and loss. Now imagine spending time and money on building a stockpile only to find your supplies spoiled or damaged when you need them most. Quite a nightmare, right? That's why proper storage methods are so important. Let's start with food. Canned goods should be stored in a cool, dry place, away from drastic temperature changes. Dry goods like rice, pasta, and beans should be stored in airtight containers to prevent moisture and pests. For supplies like batteries, medical kits, and tools, it's all about keeping them dry and secure. Moisture can wreak havoc on these items, so consider using waterproof containers. And don't forget to rotate your stockpile. Use the oldest items first and replace them with new ones. This will keep your supplies fresh and effective. Remember, it's not just about having the right items, it's about keeping them in the right condition. Proper storage is key to ensuring your stockpile is ready when you need it. Seventh, don't make the mistake of focusing on quantity over quality. It's easy to fall into the trap of accumulating large quantities of supplies without giving due consideration to their quality and utility. You might think you're well prepared with a mountain of stuff, but if those items can't stand up to the test of a real crisis, then they're just taking up valuable space. Quality matters, especially when it comes to survival gear and supplies. Instead of buying in bulk blindly, invest time in selecting durable, high-performance items. Choose gear that's built to last, food that's nutritious and long-lasting, and medical supplies that are reliable. Evaluate each item for its utility, durability, and overall value. After all, it's about having the right tools when you need them, not just having a lot of tools. Remember, in a crisis, quality counts. Eighth. Prepping in isolation can be a disadvantage. Now, this might seem counterintuitive. After all, isn't prepping all about self-reliance? Yes, but it's also about resilience, adaptability, and resourcefulness. And guess what? These qualities can be vastly amplified when you're part of a community. Think about it. By networking with others, you're not just gaining companionship. You're opening doors to a wealth of resources, information, and assistance. You're giving yourself access to a diverse range of skills and experience that you might not possess. You could learn new survival techniques, get tips on the best gear, or even receive help in times of crisis. Furthermore, a community provides emotional support, something often overlooked but crucial in tough times. It's a safety net, a learning hub, a resource pool, and a moral booster all rolled into one. So don't underestimate the power of networking. Remember, prepping is not a solo journey. Build your network. Ninth, underestimating maintenance needs can lead to unexpected failures. This is a common mistake that can have dire consequences. Your survival gear and supplies are just like any other asset. They require regular care and maintenance to remain effective. Imagine relying on a piece of equipment in a critical situation only to find it malfunctioning due to neglect. This could put you and your loved ones in a hazardous position. Regularly checking your gear, rotating your food stocks, and maintaining your equipment can prevent such unfortunate situations. Your stockpile is not a one-and-done deal. It's an ongoing commitment. You need to keep your supplies in optimal condition, and that involves routine maintenance. This could mean anything from sharpening your knives to ensuring your water filters are clean and operational. Remember, the lifespan of your survival gear is directly proportional to the care you provide. It's not just about having the right tools, but also about ensuring they'll work when you need them the most. Maintenance is not an option, it's a necessity. So. These were the common mistakes new preppers make. From overlooking basic needs and focusing too much on high-tech gear, to neglecting essential skills training, these errors can derail even the most committed prepper. Without a solid foundation of water, food and shelter, the fanciest survival tools won't make much difference. Remember, research is key. It's important to make informed decisions and avoid wasted investments. Whether it's a tactical flashlight or a water filtration system, understanding the product's functionality and cost-effectiveness can save you from regret later on. Budgeting is another crucial aspect. Spending excessively on non-essential items can drain resources that could be better utilized elsewhere. A realistic budget balances immediate needs with long-term goals, maximizing the value of every dollar spent. Planning for a variety of emergency scenarios and acquiring essential survival skills are also essential, 
A versatile plan and practical skills, such as first aid and fire making, can significantly boost your survival chances in any crisis. Proper storage practices and maintenance are vital to ensure the longevity and effectiveness of your stockpile. And remember, quality always trumps quantity. High-performance, durable items will serve you well when the going gets tough. Lastly, never underestimate the power of community and networking. Building connections with other preppers can provide valuable resources, information, and assistance during emergencies. Avoid these pitfalls, and you'll be well on your way to becoming a savvy, well-prepared survivor. Until next time, stay prepared. Hey, 